Hello guys, welcome back to Chemistry 24 into 7. In this series, we have been exploring solution to previous year's competitive exam papers. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification. Let's see what's today's problem. We are going to tackle a question from CSER 2012. According to this question, this substrate react with triphenyl phosphine, diethyl aso dicarboxylate and 2 iodophenol which produce product A. This product react with tributyl tin hydride in the presence of AABN under heating, which produce product B. So here you see there are four options. Let's figure out together which one is the correct option for this question. So let's see the first reaction condition, which involves the use of triphenyl phosphine and diethyl acetylcarboxylate. So this one is a diethyl acetylcarboxylate. Nitrogen atom bonded with ester group as well as this nitrogen atom also bonded with ester group which makes that this nitrogen is electron division as well as this nitrogen also electron division only. So which going to react with triphenyl phosphine. This triphenyl phosphine is electron rich contains phosphorus here you see has lone pair of electron which readily attack this nitrogen atom to produce this intermediate so this is called betaine intermediate after the generation of betaine intermediate which quickly react with the two iodophenol so here you see this nitrogen contains negative charge which readily abstract the hydrogen atom from two iodophenol to produce this corresponding two iodophenoxide ion along with this intermediate so now you see phosphorus has the positive charge which quickly react with this alcohol substrate so here you see alcohol has two lone pair of electron which readily attack this phosphorus atom. At the same time, this phosphorus nitrogen bond cleaved to produce this intermediate as well as this intermediate. So here you see this intermediate has nitrogen has negative charge which readily abstract the hydrogen atom from this intermediate to produce this pi product along with this intermediate. This intermediate is resonance stabilized here you see how this lone pair of electron quickly go here which resulted that to produce this resonance stabilized intermediate which makes that this carbon atom is electron deficient so now two iodophenoxide ion which readily attack this carbon by backside so which is typically sn2 attack which resulting that produce this corresponding product along with formation of triphenyl phosphine oxide as a byproduct. In fact, the formation of phosphorus oxygen bond is main driving force for this reaction. So next we should note it down the stereochemistry of this product. Here you see we got the inversion stereochemistry since this phenoxide ion attack takes place by backside of this leaving group. So particularly this reaction is known as Misnubu reaction. Let's moving on our second reaction condition. This product A going to react with tributyl tin hydride and AABN under heating. Tributyl tin hydride uh, reagent we have already discussed in our channel in three parts. If anyone missed that video, don't worry, you can find the link in the description box. Just a recall tributyl tin hydride is a very good radical reducing agent. Let's see how it going to effect in our case so tributyl tin hydride initially react with AABN which readily produce tributyl tin radical so this tributyl tin radical going to react with our product A so this is the product A contains the iodo compound so this iodo compound readily react with tributyl tin hydride here you see this tributyl tin radical is readily abstract the iodo group resulting that produce this corresponding arene radical through the homolytic cleavage of this carbon iodide bond. So we can redraw the structure like this. So this one is a half chair form of cyclohexene system. So this alkene bond and this methyl as well as this group here also hydrogen this group also present in the same plane. So now you see this phenoxide group present at the bottom phase therefore we put in the bottom and this alkene group present at the top phase here also we put it at the top phase 
So now you see this arene radical quickly react with this alkene. Here you see how this happened. So initially attack takes place, then followed by generation of new carbon centered radical. This new carbon centered radical react with tributyl tin hydride. Here you see this radical quickly abstract the hydrogen atom from tributyl tin hydride which produce this corresponding product. So here you should note it down the stereochemistry of this final product. So here you see this methyl group as well as this hydrogen both are present in the top phase. That means that so here you see this radical attack takes place by the bottom phase of that alkene. So resulting that so here you see this methyl as well as hydrogen both are present at the top phase. So based on our discussion among the four answer the correct answer for this question is answer one that's it for your today's problem by breaking down the problem step by step understanding the each reaction condition we have identified the correct product i hope this explanation has helpful you are understanding particularly in this topic if you enjoyed this video please do a nice gesture and hit the like button and we stay motivated create a more much content like this for you don't forget to subscribe kim or kim finally thanks for watching bye bye